I want to call your attention to what has been one of the most dramatic Chil Hashem incidents in American Jewish community. I'll be showing uh, some letters from from people on the slides. But the statement that has been now several weeks without being refuted, that according to Halacha, as interpreted by some of the Rabbonim, Rabbonim who, I, again, I'm choosing my words, have not the slightest idea of what we're talking about. Not the slightest, as I'll show you. Nevertheless, came to conclusion that a goy who is brain dead may have his organs removed and given to a Jew, but a Jew cannot have his organs removed because when he's brain dead, he's still alive. That has to be refuted as a chibl Hashem it endangers us in the eyes of an anti-Semitic world. It's as close to a blood libel as you can come. You can kill a guy to save a Jew. No man no shah. If brain dead is alive, then both are alive. If brain dead is dead, then both are dead. That must be refuted, and I'm embarrassed to say that despite this obvious observation, no one has had the decency to correct that impression from the RCA administration. Brainstem death has never, never been, not reversed, has never been ameliorated. And this is one of the blatant lies in the RCA issue that they put out, this 110 pages of drivel, in which they said, well, some brainstem people wake up. In the history of medicine, it never happened that someone who was declared brainstem dead on the basis of the protocol which has been approved, and I will show you what the protocol is, has ever shown any improvement, let alone gotten better. That's critical. You have to know and understand that. And why that got into a printed document with the RCA imprimatur on it can only be assumed to have been willful because there is nothing in literature that would justify it. Nucleus scanning is the most useful confirmatory test. I'll explain that to you. Something that those who wrote that 110-page nonsense from the RCA uh, had the slightest idea what that's all about. Let me tell you what the nucleus scan is. It's a way of determining the circulation reach the brain. Now, in that 110-page thing, they have a statement there that it's not possible to visualize a brain stem. And they quote a source. That source is 49 years old. Now speaking to the opponents. There's no excuse for the errors that they made. There's no shigogo when you're passing shyness and health and shyness of life and death, every shigogo is amazed. Uh, my father, Zazal, used to say, uh, Mo says that a shogi, any odea, he doesn't know that it's haloche on Hilcha Shabbos, that this is a malocha Shabbos. So he has to bring a kolba. Why do you want to put a poor fellow? Why should he bring a kolba? He didn't do anything against God. He didn't do an aveira. He didn't know. So my father, Zazal, used to say, you never bring a kolba for a shogi. You bring a korban for the mazid of being an Amoetz. <laughs> I read the scientific literature every week. I read New England of Medicine, I read Nature, and I read Science. Not because I'm that interested, but they pay me for doing that. <laughs> Those are the courses I teach. Every few months you find in there a retraction. 
John Doe published a paper, he's a dirty liar. He manufactured the, the experiment, he didn't do it, right? It doesn't exist. We, we retract it, meaning take it out of, the, out of the literature. RCA has to retract that 110 pages. They use it for other purposes, but not for reading. <laughs> what, they, what did we do here? This experiment proved something. So in that article, those who read the 110-page thing, uh, it, it says there, this experiment was meaningless. It didn't say anything. The head doesn't work. No experiment says anything. What the experiment said was that a beating heart is not alive. And when this information would come out, God forbid, internationally, that we uh, uh, do take the organs from Goyim and give it to Jews, no Jew will get an organ any place. And I want to repeat again, in all this tumult that's happened all over England, America, Israel, RCA hasn't had the decency to at least retract that one point. And that's a chiv I put on anyone sitting here. There are RCA members here. That you must demand. You are endangering my life by not demanding it.